<laughs> now, an artist from Smethwick who uh, ditched her paints for broken plates and tiles has transformed her home into a mosaic masterpiece. Practically every wall in Caroline Jerrywala's house is adorned with murals made out of unwanted ceramics. Our correspondent Lucy Capassi has been to see her spectacular creations. Caroline Jarawala's home grabs your attention before you even go inside. Shortly after moving in, Caroline started her version of decorating. Combining cheap tiles and broken or unwanted crockery and glass that was headed for landfill, her designs inspired by a fusion of growing up in Britain and her Indian Gujarati roots. At the top of the house, her studio, where her ideas come to life. What I love about mosaic making is that it's so calming and I feel, especially when I go into a flow state, as it were, it's kind of like a, a prayer in action sort of thing. I find a spark and a joy from looking at crockery and giving me an idea. I see images in tiles everywhere. So I, I might have a cup that um, I might get a literal cheek, you know, rosy cheek pattern out of, but then I'll cut it and it looks like an eye and other folks may not see it, but, but when I put it in context, when I glue it down, that's when people see things. Throughout my house, it, I've used all sorts of themes and things that I'm attracted to. For example, as you walk through the front door, you'll see a whole wall of Hindu gods and juxtaposed to that, um, Victorian Edwardian tiles. So it's like, it's really about me. It's, it's about, it's like an autobiography in tiles, basically. And that life story is everywhere. There's barely a wall, door, ceiling or alcove untouched by mosaic. The whole house a canvas for her creations. Well known in Smethwick, where she lives, artists save chipped ceramics for her and locals drop off whole tea sets they no longer want. She now has so many raw materials and an overflow area is now in use, guarded by a resplendent peacock. Caroline's art can be seen around the world. This is a piece she worked on in Chile. Closer to home, her current commission is for the new Midland Metropolitan Hospital, a tree of life surrounded by religious symbols, paid for by the NHS Trust's charity for the hospital's multi-faith centre. She also collaborated with local people to produce these pieces for the new health and well-being centre on the site of the old ironworks at Riverside House in Stourbridge. Caroline delivered workshops for 10 to 18 year olds um, creating these mosaics and they depict what we do at Riverside House. Caroline got the, the, the brief spot on and they're exactly what we wanted and they just look stunning. And her mural at Coesley Railway Station can be seen by passengers passing through, as well as those waiting for a train. Favourite piece of artwork that I've ever created. Back at home, yeah. Caroline's made the most of her back garden too. So I have got dancers and musicians from all over pre-partition India. So from Punjab, Rajasthan, Kerala, you know, Gujarat, uh, Pakistan, Orisha, Andhra Pradesh, Assam. Oh, it's a real labour of love, it's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I loved doing it. A home and garden that captivates through its tales in tiles. With Caroline says, many more chapters to come. Lucy Capassi, 